So last night I was at the student ministry here at Bayside and it was a whole Q&A on the Bible. And the students were asking a whole bunch of questions about the reliability of the Bible and can you trust it and so on. So we went through a whole bunch of data, but at the end of it, I kind of just said, you know, we know Jesus was a historical person. There's a lot of great historical evidence that he, that he lived and that he taught and that he died under you know, Pontius Pilate and he rose again from death. And if you really believe in Jesus and trust Jesus, he trusted the scriptures. And in Matthew chapter five, Jesus says, for truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not a jot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Jesus affirms the priority of the Bible in his life and in our life. And he says, this is the thing that you can trust and it will never pass away. It will never be pushed aside. Never in history will it be destroyed to the point where it's not central. And it needs to be central, not only to culture as it has been through history, but to you in your life, because it is the power of God unto salvation, Paul says in Romans chapter one. So here's a challenge for 2024. It was powerful in Jesus' life. He, he read it and depended on it all the time. Even when he goes in to the wilderness and Satan tempts him, it's the Bible that he constantly quotes to, to live in the midst of temptation and difficulty and testing, which you might be facing in your life right now as you watch this. It's the scriptures are the things that we rely on to fight that battle. So here's a challenge for 2024. I remember when I was in college, our professors, when we were studying the Bible at such a high level, doing Greek and parsing all these verbs and all these things, they used to kind of go, you know, they used to say a chapter a day keeps the devil away. And we'd all laugh ha, 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 in our little, you know, elitist hearts and just all oh, those silly people chapter a day. We're doing deep things like soteriology and eschatological, say hermeneutical, homiletical, blah, blah, blah. But the longer I've been a pastor, the less I laugh at that because I realize that a chapter a day probably does keep the devil away. So what if you challenge yourself in 2024 to read a chapter of the Bible a day? One chapter. It'll take you probably five, 10 minutes tops to read one chapter and center it. At the, maybe at the beginning of your day, maybe in the middle, the end, whatever it is for you. I'm trying to do that very thing. Yesterday, I started in 1 Kings and I read 1 Kings chapter one. And there was a ton in there about David and his life and his legacy and all of these wonderful things that God was speaking to me about, about my walk with him, but also leadership and all. There are, there's something in it. A chapter a day keeps the devil away. Try to make this part of your life. And why don't we start the year by coming to the Bible conference, making this a priority. So it is January 21 to 24. Make sure that you are there. It is going to be awesome. We have Jamie Cochran, Christine Kane, an awesome panel, and myself ending the whole conference off. It goes from Sunday to Wednesday. Every evening, we have break a ton of breakouts, like 100 amazing breakouts with amazing teachers. I want to see you there. Text BIBLE to 56316, and let's start 2024 off in the scriptures so it can change our life.